y'all, I'm Ivana Manley, and we're here at Manley Labs in the microphone room. And today we're going to show you how do you cha change a tube in your Manley microphone. So the procedure will be the same for a Manley reference gold mic or reference cardioid mic. Some of the older mics that might have three screws to take off, and the modern ones have two. But that's the only difference. Okay, so let's get into the guts of the microphone and change that tube out. So on this cardioid mic, up. Oh, before I do that, let's turn the power off. Boom. And let's unplug it. All right. Modern mics are going to have two screws around the circumference of the body at the base here. So those are out. We're going to be careful not to uh, break this pad switch off. So we're just going to wiggle out the body very gently and the whole guts of the microphone are going to slide right out. And there it is. We're going to be careful not to touch the diaphragm of the capsule. That's a bad idea. We also don't want to touch any of the electronics because even the grease from your, your dirty hands can create high impedance bridges and we don't want to do that. So just grab the mic. You can grab it safely at the top here on these metal rails. That's cool. You can grab it at the base all day long. And let's get to the tube. So have a nice clean workspace. You don't want a whole bunch of tools and pokey things. You don't want to touch the capsule. That's important. So grabbing this little board here at the edges or maybe at the socket here. You're going to grasp the tube with your other hand and just gently wiggle it out. Just like that. This is not a halogen light bulb. You do not have to wear gloves. You can do this with your fingers. The tube will not have been so hot either that you can't touch it. So there you are. There. Okay, now we can see, oh, what tube do I need to replace it with? Well, what is in there right now? Some of the microphones use 12AX7, some of them use 12AT7s, and the really old ones used 6072, 6072s. Um, you can contact the service department. They can advise you, like, which are the quietest ones we have these days for them. But that's usually why we have switched tubes over the years is because, like, those ones, we stopped being able to get really quiet ones, so we switched to another type. They'll pretty much all work in any mic, but if, if you want to replace a 6072 mic with another 6072, then you'll go to tubesrule.com and you can order a mic grade tube there. Those are selected for low noise. That's what we're looking for in these microphones is low noise. Okay, so you've got your new tube. Installation is the reverse of the other thing. Here we go. We're going to see here. Oh, yeah. There's a key, and the key is between pins 1 and 9, and there's a space between these pins. We're going to line that up with the socket key. Just like that, get a good grip on the socket and just gently wiggle the tube in. Just shake it back and forth, just wiggle it in. Okay, it should feel very solid when you get it in there. Again, have a clean workbench. You don't want anything, uh, you know, destroying your capsule, right? Then we put it together the same way. We took it apart. You're gonna align the pad switch to where it says pad. You're gonna just gently place it together like that. And these days we do, oops, we do have these cool little starred washers here to ensure a really good ground connection. If you need some of those, you can contact our parts department at tubesrule.com or via the website those help you get a really good ground connection. And you put your two screws back together, three on the really old microphones, and you're all done. So that's all there is to it. It's, it's really easy. 
as I like to joke around, even a girl can do it. So anyway, enjoy your manly mic. Let's keep them going for another 30 years at least. <laughs>